everybody, another Double Down review here. We are looking at Marvel Legends Ant-Man and Wasp series. Ant-Man and the Wasp. And who are the other figures in this series? Uh, it's part of the Infinity War Wave 2, technically. So oh, there's, that's right. There's like the Thor the, and... The Thor from Infinity War and Black Widow from Infinity War. Uh, Malekith, comic book Malekith. Oh, yep. And then Black uh, Knight. Black Knight, and then I believe these two. Okay. I think that's it. And the build a figure And then thing they is... build Call Obsidian if you get all the character pieces. I have a leg and a head. So, pretty much, we're there. Call Obsidian, there he is. <laughs> uh, I'll take a look at Scott Lang first. Uh, uh, articulation on these figures are standard across all Marvel Legends at this point. Uh, arms, turn, shoulders, in and out. It's almost like a ratchet on What there. if he just explodes? <laughs> <laughs> Rip his arm off. Uh, double jointed elbow on the male figures. Something that I don't believe has been put on the female figures yet for some what? reason. What? Double oh, jointed, double jo double jointed, jointed elbows. elbows. Yeah. So you get, you know, you can bend the arm all the way up here. Uh, mid chest cut, torso, you can forward and back, waist swivel. The belt is a separate piece on this figure, it's not sculpted on. Uh, the head, full circle, forward and back, also pops off. So you can put the Ant-Man helmet on. Uh, he's got leg movement forward and back, he's got a thigh cut so you can twist the leg. Double jointed knee, so you can bend that. Oh. Stand flew off. Double jointed knee, you can bend that up. Down. Ankle goes back and forth. And slight rock left and right. Do you think Paul Rudd is really that ripped in real life? I don't know. Because he's, he's like really built on that figure. <clears throat> it's probably partly the suit. I don't know. Never, never really looked into it. Um, yeah, really good paint job on these guys, paint apps on this figure. Definite upgrade over the first Ant-Man release. Mm -hmm. um, was that a couple years ago? They did the like comic book Ant-Man? Well, they, they did one for the first movie, but it was like based off of concept art or something, so the helmet wasn't what it was in the movie. It was like an open mouth. It's really oh, weird. I remember really that weird. one. They had like the really big red eyes. Yeah, and they were like an orangish tint. Yeah. I don't, so yeah, they must have just... The design must have changed, and uh, Hasbro it. wasn't able to change it in time, but yeah, it's kind of weird. But this guy is legit. And also, their new face printing tech is amazing. Yeah. I'll show a close-up of this. This is awesome. And even the, the little details that I've noticed that I felt like wouldn't have been in like the original lines, you know, like, you can see Evangeline Lily's eyes in the mask here, and that's very impressive. <clears throat> but no, the uh, the new face scan technology thing that they're doing really boosted the. Um, well, I guess that it just makes the the likeness show so much better just because the paint application is there. Well, yeah, I mean because the sculpts are surprisingly not bad. Yeah, it's just sometimes it's just a slop of paint on these figures, and yep. they just look so gross. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> Gross. They do. It's just like a shiny, just like a melty piece like a of plastic. shiny doll face. Wow. But yeah, these new sculpts are amazing. So if yeah. they keep this up, my God. we're gonna have some good looking figures. Oh yeah, I'll rebuy everybody on my shelf if they <laughs> offer new head sculpts. Uh, so yeah, that's Ant Man. <clears throat> he doesn't come with any accessories besides the helmet and the head sculpt. Kind of wish he had alternate hands and maybe like a mini Ant Man or something. Yeah. I think they both should have come with a mini. Ant-Man and a mini wasp, wasp just, just because. Then they kind of fit in with the other Marvel Legends. Uh, wow, the face sculpt on her is really good. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to tell everybody. <laughs> this <new> face <laughs> stuff's amazing. It is. It's really good. I just, I'm looking at it and it, it, it looks, it's spot on. It's spot on, I tell you. <laughs> Step right up, folks. Uh, so yeah, we got to look at uh, Hope Van Dyne. The Wasp, played by Evangeline Lilly in the movies. Uh, she's got her little wing pack on the back. The wings kind of go up and down a little bit. Slight articulation there. Do they come out? What do you mean? Can you take the wings out? Uh, the wings, actually, this whole backpack piece comes off. Look at that. 
She it's came magic. with an alternate one where the wings are like folded in, so oh. it looks like she's just like got the pack on. That is neat. Very nice. Nice little detail there. Uh, I yeah. like the I like the color scheme also, on her costume too. I haven't really looked face at any sculpt. of them. sculpt. Yeah, it's like I don't know. It's weird that they just dropped these guys in with the Infinity War figures. I wasn't expecting this. Yeah. We pulled his head. Gotta build the hype somehow for their for the upcoming movie. And then you can pop her helmet head on. There you go. Put the helmet head and the uh, backpack on there. Pop that off so she's ready for flight. Put her wings on. Don't put the wings on upside down. <laughs> Just flying to the ground. <laughs> and she's flying away. And then she came with alternate hands to uh, stand up here. There you go. Alternate hands are like open for like flight hands. Mm -hmm. so put those on. Just kind of like that kind of pose. Um, articulation on her. Let me get this backpack off. Uh, heads on a swivel with a pop joint. Just pop the head on and off. Shoulders go up to there. They also go up and around. Complete 360. Single joint on the elbow, unfortunately. Maybe it's just because the female figure's arms are thinner, so it's harder to do a double joint down there. I don't know. Yeah, they just snap. It would be nice, though. I mean, that's as far as her elbow goes up compared to Scott Lang's, which folds yeah, all the way. all the way. Uh, she's got her little stinger blasters on her wrist. Uh, that's just like a solid piece, but the, the wrist itself moves, and then it's on a peg you can pull out to replace the other hand. She's got a mid-torso cut on the chest, so you can twist it like that. Flight poses, fight poses, whatever you want. Um, there's no waist cut on this figure, and then legs, uh, thigh joint, swivel that way, double knee joint on her though, which is nice, and then ankle forward and back. Uh, doesn't seem like there's a rocker on this one, so you can't really go left and right, but just forward and back. And then, yeah, that's it. Just doing a little back flip. <gasps> Woo! Look at that pose. <laughs> Sticking his butt out or something. I was trying to get him to do the pose that he's doing, like the the new poster that they did where he's like leaning down and running. But he's just doing like a male stripper pose. Yeah, I don't know, he's like <laughs> stepping into a mountain climb or something. <laughs> yeah. So these figures are hitting now. I found mine at Walmart, uh, part of the Infinity War Wave 2 series. Uh, other people are finding them at GameStop's. Oh, really? uh, right now they should be hitting everywhere relatively soon. It seems like Target's a little slow to pick up on yeah, the Marvel Legends the stuff, but it'd be nice if they carried them. Target. <laughs> uh, yeah, they don't come with stands or anything, which kind of sucks because, especially for some of the female figures, their feet are small. But I just bought some third-party stands off eBay. You get like ten of them for ten bucks or something, and they're nice. Nice little clear disc. You just pop your figure on there. Do those work with? Like standard six inch figures, like Star Wars Black they Series. They were Star Wars Black Series and Marvel Legends, and maybe other six inch figures, but I got them primarily for those because for some, for some reason you can't get a stand of the figure these days. It's gonna cost you an extra 40 bucks. <laughs> eBay, get some stands, they're amazing. Uh, so keep your eyes out for the uh, new wave of the Infinity War figures. Uh, like Tim said, the Paint applications, the sculpting, it's its all there. These are well worth the, uh, what, $19.99 price point? $19.99. Uh, well worth it if you're into superheroes, comic books, anything like that. Or the movies. They're just or, awesome. Plus, just, with these just two, if, you're, if you're like a good time, okay? These do head sculpts. Amazing. Let's do a measurement quick of these, these guys for you. Ant-Man comes in just over six inches. And the Wasp is standing... <laughs> She's dead. She's dead. She's down. She's not standing at all. She's wasp, just wasp her down. <laughs> just under six inches. So he's like six and a half. She's just under six. He's, well, yeah, he's, he's a little over six. She's just under six. There you go. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions, comments, throw them our way. Otherwise, like, subscribe, share, whatever the hell you want to do. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.